Like the video and subscribe right now, and I'll show you a picture of Bear Doggo. Ready? 3, 2, 1. There's your problem. If you have to play all the past games to enjoy the current one, then it's not a good game. People like you are the reason we see Batman's parents die in every movie because you don't understand the concept of sequels. Mother Ducker, your child's name is a 30% off coupon code. Elon Musk. I absolutely support trans, but all these pronouns are an aesthetic nightmare. If you are not an eyewitness, you are a false witness, Exodus 2016. If you didn't see it, you shouldn't be gossiping about it. That eliminates the gospels themselves. Thanks. Defund the USPS. I don't need my tax dollars being used to fund such a poorly run service. Private carriers are more than enough, and it's not like USPS is significantly cheaper or anything. USPS made 77 billion dollars this year, we don't use your tax dollars. To the contrary, its 600,000 employees paychecks are taxed from USPS revenue thereby contributing to government funding. Also, private carriers are not more than enough, UPS FedEx and Amazon pay us to deliver packages that either aren't profitable for them or that they can't handle. We also rely on them for logistics. Having an every door everyday government entity in congruence with our private partners really works out well for everyone. If you're 28 plus and a man is taking you to Red Lobster as a date then you need to reevaluate the kind of men you're dating. If you're 28 plus and you're still evaluating men based on where they take you out to eat rather than the quality of time spent, you need to reevaluate your life. This is your annual reminder that not everyone celebrates Christmas. The default to Merry Christmas is a normal greeting, is also white supremacy culture at work. If someone celebrates, by all means. But so many people don't. Merry Christmas from Indonesia, where there is no white person in radius 3 kilometers from my house and Christian is a minority. But hey, white supremacy right. Anyone by the sheets from my pillow, are they as great as everyone says? They are awesome. The eye holes are already cut out for you. Oh my god I hate my job. My boss is a total pervy wanker always making me do shit stuff just to piss me off. Wanker. Hi, I guess you forgot about adding me on here. Firstly, don't flatter yourself. Secondly, you've worked here about 5 months and you didn't work out that I'm gay. I know I don't prance around the office like a queen, but it's not exactly a secret. Thirdly, that shit stuff is called your job, you know, what I pay you to do. But the fact that you seem able to duck up the simplest of tasks might contribute to how you feel about it. And lastly, you also seem to have forgotten that you have two weeks left on your six month trial period. Don't bother coming in tomorrow. I'll pop your P45 in the post and you can come in whenever you like to pick up any stuff you've left here. And yes, I'm serious. Why don't you just give him a chance? I don't know, because I'm not physically or mentally attracted to him, and, but he likes you, or, but he's really nice isn't going to change the fact that I'm not interested. Damn, I don't think women know how much that really hurts. I don't understand this, you don't know how much that hurts stuff. Do men not remember rejecting women? Have they forgotten that they hold us to impossibly high standards of behavior and beauty? That our personality alone is not enough for most men. Us being a nice person isn't what men list as their prime quality in a woman. How come we are rejected constantly, compared to each other, pitted against each other, and pretty much just accept this and move on, but the second we do that to a guy we are friend zoning bitches that are shallow and heartless. Normally the men complaining about rejection would have no problem finding a lovely girlfriend if they just expand their idea of beauty. If you're not a stereotypical hot guy don't expect to pull a stereotypical hot chick. It's not every man's right to have an extremely attractive girlfriend. It's not your right to have any girlfriend. And if you wouldn't date a woman based purely on her having a nice personality, why the duck should any woman date you? I'm gonna explain why women don't like nice guys. It's not women like assholes instead of nice guys. It's women are attracted to actual personality traits, and nice is not one. Not really. Nice just means not an asshole. People aren't attracted to nice because it doesn't mean anything. 
People are attracted to funny, witty, sweet, thoughtful, compassionate, interesting. Nice isn't a personality tray. It's a default setting. The bed ducking minimum. If all you bring to the table is nice, you're ducking boring. And if you have to tell people you're nice, you're probably not as nice as you think you are. For example if you think women owe you shreks over someone else because of your perceived niceness, you're a giant bag of dicks. A vaccine to prevent autism would completely confuse anti-vaxxers. Let's be honest, a piece of paper with please, turn over on both sides, could completely confuse anti-vaxxers. Soccer. Comediverse. It's called football, is the hash one sport on earth, and is played globally by people of every culture. Stick to NASCAR and breeding. Every human being deserves shelter and a meal. No, you don't pay people to exist for the same reason you don't feed the bears. Yeah man if I give the 50 year old lady at my bus stop some spare change for fare and a meal she'll lose interest in foraging for desiccated salmon carcasses and lose her natural fear of people. Next thing you know she's in the suburbs, running around on all fours trying to eat a corgi. Twitch banned simp. Damn they're banning their own employees. Featured comment. Leo D box. Today I pay attention to my online classes. And other hilarious jokes you can tell yourself. If you want to be featured in the next video use hashtag dankness. British urgently want the blood of Irish people. NHS say it is vital that Irish people in Britain step forward to donate blood. They could try checking their hands. I'm a clinical neuropsychologist and have co-written when crisis strikes. 5 steps to heal your brain, body, and life from chronic stress with Dr. Jennifer Love. Ask us anything. I'm curious, you mention evidence-based, but your book has a forward by Daniel Larmen. And in this ask me anything, you direct people to the Amen clinic. As I'm sure you're aware, Daniel Amen is widely regarded by the medical establishment as a charlatan and modern day snake oil salesman. I'm curious how you reconcile your medical and clinical neuropsychological training with the pseudoscience that you're directing people towards at the Amen clinic. Each large muscle of a bodybuilder represents a language he didn't learn. A poem he didn't read, a fun fact he never memorized. Thucydides said that the society that separates its scholars from its warriors will have its thinking done by cowards and its fighting by fools however you appear to be both a fool and a coward. Wait you're Indian, right? Yeah, what's up? Nothing, just Bob's vagine. Obviously Indian men deserve to be the butt of the joke. Since we can't spell boobs and vagina, unlike white men like you who can send well-framed sentences like send nudes which communicates the message of online harassment more succinctly. It seems you want to believe that this theory is so self-evidently true that you resort to insulting perfect strangers like me. I'm just asking legitimate scientific questions that I believe you need to answer for yourself. The theory is supposed to stand on its own without your need. To be militaristic about it. Honey, I have a degree in plant sciences with a major in genetics and fitha pathology, and I'm currently writing a thesis on viral evolution. You're not asking legitimate scientific questions, you are shamefully unaware of evolution theory and spreading misinformation, disguising it as if you actually know stuff. I can't deny I'm angry, but it is not because I don't know enough about evolution, it's because you are a moron who pretends to know what you're talking about and trying to lecture me with misinformation on the very subject I've studied for years. I'm thinking of deleting my son's Steam account. Should I really do it when he has over 500 games? How miserable are you as a person to delete something your own son enjoys? Does he play video games too much? I guess there's better things to do like go out on the streets, get involved with some drug, maybe pick up hobbies like looting and rioting like the rest of the kids out there that hate their parents. I'm 42, retired, and played video games all my life. Video games don't stop you from succeeding in life. This might sound weird, but let your son be happy and safe at home playing video games. Go find some hobbies of your own that make you happy. If you can't, seek help professionally on how to find your own happiness without ruining others. 
Spain is currently being battered by Storm Philomena with heavy snowfalls expected even at altitudes of just 200 meters. BRR. Spain records its coldest ever temperature of minus 35.8 degrees Celsius. Must be that global warming. A warmer Earth makes sudden stratospheric warming events more likely and more frequent. And those events destabilize the polar vortex, bring cold air down into the mid-latitudes, and cause the extreme weather we are experiencing right now. You're correct. It's actually due to that global warming. You all made this happen. I ducked up and took some profits, but she said yes, so I guess that's worth something. Well, this sub is known for terrible investments, guess this belongs here too. There's lots you don't know. First, read up on all the extra crap in a vaccine. Then look up pharmagenomic testing. Turns out, due to DNA differences, there are people who can't detect the byproducts in some vaccines, especially when several are administered at once, like baby shots. Saying parents cause autism, yes, please just stop now. Nah I don't think I will, please do tell us all about how autism is caused by vaccines, and not by genetic heritage. Go into great detail about how many confirmed cases of autism has been caused by vaccines as opposed to hereditary factors. Meanwhile I will just drop this link on you, and wait for you to link a Facebook meme. Women actually have sperm cells in their bone marrow, so we don't even need men to reproduce. At least she's breaking the stereotype that Asians are smart. What's the age gap? 9 years. I find that younger women prefer me, naturally that ends up with me preferring younger women. Which is hilarious, because in my teens I preferred women in their 50s. The only thing you've done with your 8 day old account is bother female focused subreddits, and talk way too much about Alice Cooper. You also say you're involuntarily celibate so, it sounds like no women prefer you. All I have ever wanted from a yogurt is to know who the cows are. Notice how they named all the cows traditionally girl names. There is a deep connection between misogyny and consuming animals. Sucking all the milk out of my large bull, Gari. Guess who got vaccinated today? Not sure what's in it, but I'm not doing it. No offense but you did meth. I think you will survive the vaccine. Give $600 to a poor person and it's gone in a week. Give $600 to a rich person and it's multiplied 10 times in a few years or less. Here lem fix that for you. Give $600 to someone with no money and they have no choice but to use it to survive. Give $600 to someone whose needs are already fully met and they can sit on it all they want. For duck's sake are we really this dense? Lions don't wear masks. Bruh. Coronavirus. Four lions test positive for COVID-19 at Barcelona Zoo. What is an actual sub for serious flat earthers? R slash mental illness. You're a piece of shit maybe you should move to Africa. I have dual citizenship, so I actually can. Meanwhile, you'll be stuck here, smelling of mayonnaise, and waiting on your cousin to text you back for that dick appointment. You've been visited by the rare walrus papa. This walrus papa will save you if you ever get attacked by a shark, but only if you comment. I'm allergic to shark bites. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more daily videos.